Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome to chapter 14, the final chapter in this specialized English course. In today's class, we will talk about data presentations. This lesson is divided into three parts. In part one, we'll talk about how to refer to a table or figure. In part two, we'll review comparing variables. And, in part 3, we'll discuss approximating. Let's get started. Let's begin with part 1, referring to a table or figure. In a medical or academic article, you can write, Figure 1 shows X. Table 1 shows X. X is shown in figure 1. X is shown in table 1. In a spoken presentation, you can use the same expressions or you can also say, as you can see in table 1, now let's move on to part 2, comparing variables. When you refer to a table, you will often need to compare one variable with another. Let's see some phrases that express comparison. For example, we can say, X was twice as effective as Y. X was three times as common as Y. If you need to compare the same variable at different times, you can say The number of x in 2015 was double that in 2010. The number of x in 2019 was triple, three times that in 2009. There was a two-fold increase in the number of x between 2000 and 2010. There was a threefold increase in the number of X between 1990 and 2020. The number of X increased twofold between 1990 and 2000. The number of X increased threefold between 1990 and 2000. The number of X doubled between 2019 and 2020. The number of X tripled between 2019 and 2020. Pay attention to the words in bold font. They express comparative quantities, meaning one is two times or three times as many as the other. Finally, let's see part three, approximating. When referring to the data presented on slides, Numbers are often rounded. That means they are approximated to the closest whole number. For example, 41.3 becomes 41 or even 40. When this is done, it is common to use expressions of approximation. Up next, we'll use some of these expressions in a sentence. Side effects were reported by about 40 patients. Side effects were reported by around 40 patients. Side effects were reported by approximately 40 patients. Side effects were reported by roughly 40 patients. Side effects were reported by some 40 patients. Numbers are frequently presented as fractions or percentages, even when the exact number is given. For example, Roughly two-thirds of patients reported side effects. 55 or some two-thirds of patients reported side effects. When you want to emphasize a number, for example, 9.8%, you can say the following phrases of approximation. Almost 10%. Nearly 
more than 9%, over 9%, just under 10%, And when you want to make the number seem small, you can say less than 10%. That would be all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. See you in the next class.